Okay, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to get a free phone number. First of all, well, it's not, it's a free phone number plus voice over IP service. You can use it on your iPhone, iPod Touch, first generation or second generation. First generation, you have to buy a little insert that goes in the bottom for your microphone. Use it on Mac, PC, possibly Linux. Haven't tried Linux out yet, but, um, Okay, first of all, you need to go to IP call. That is IPK, not C, but K A L L dot com. And you need to go to sign up. And these are all their phone numbers are Washington State area codes. Since they don't, since Washington State doesn't have many people, they can get phone numbers from there. <laughs> uh, the only real catch is you have to use it for, use it once every 30 days at least. Otherwise, your phone number will be terminated. Uh, you need to make sure you are on SIP right here. SIP, not IAX. SIP. <coughs> you do not need to enter any enter anything in for your SIP phone number. For your SIP proxy, though, you need to enter an SIP.VOIPBuster.com. Enter in your email address. Enter in a password. Only the real problem is it shows your password, so I'm not going to enter one in since I already have one there. And I would change 120 to 30, preferably, because that is a standard call. And then fill out the CAPTCHA, so mine is levels. And then I would hit submit. But since I've already signed up, I don't need to. <laughs> okay, and about within an hour, usually, you'll get an email saying you've been verified and they'll give you your free phone number. So you just need to head on over to the login page, which is just on the IP call. Log into an existing account. Type in your phone number. Uh, no dashes or anything. I'm already logged in, though. Um, it will. It won't show your password in the little dots and everything, so I just removed mine there. But still, you need to make sure um, your SIP proxy is sip.voipbuster.com. Again, sip.voipbuster.com. Um, getting your email address must be valid. Thirty seconds to ring, and for your SIP phone number, you'll enter enter that in in a couple seconds. <coughs> Second of all, we need to head, head on over to VoIPBuster.com. Um, this is the service I'll actually transfer your calls through. Second, first of all, we need to go over here to where it says um, download. Right on this link. I'm just enlarging it. But it'll say download right here. And you, even if you're on PC, click on the Mac and Linux users. Because this will actually let you sign up. So then type in um, your username, password, type in an email, type in a CAPTCHA, kind of get the point there, and then register. <coughs> this website pretty much you'll go through right away. And then uh, all you need to do after that is once you're verified, log in from the top. It'll bring up another, and you'll see this section right here. <coughs> You can just go ahead and minimize that and head back over to IP, ipcall.com. Um, for your SIP phone number, you want to enter in your VoIP Buster username. And that's it. And preferably, it's easier if you just leave your two passwords on the website the same. And after this, you'll never have to go to ipcall.com unless you, unless you switch services or something. Okay. <clears throat> so, I'm already logged in right over here and you will and I actually bought credit for this but sometimes your system gets a little screwy even though the calls are free for some reason it still wants you to pay for it so I just went ahead and paid them 10 euros but I'm in the US so it turned out to be like eleven dollars and three cents or something um, once you pay if you do you can send text messages uh, to they also give you an access number to call from so um, Wait. Yes, access numbers. So it'll just go off of what you have and say, I live near San Antonio. I call this number, bam, 
links right to my account. And I can use my account to call International via VoIP Buster. <coughs> and that's it for right now. Um, and two, the actual application I prefer is called X Lite. It's free to download. Um, so just search Google for X Lite, and I'll include all the links for everything in the sidebar. Um, second link down when you search for X Space Lite, then just download now. That's it. Um, it's oh yeah, it is available for Linux. So you can use this on Linux too. So Windows, Mac, or Linux. <coughs> Once you have that downloaded, you just want want to go to your preferences. Once it loads. And then just check all like your devices and everything, um, your speakers, which for some reason mine keeps on changing, but oh well. And then you need to go to your SIP account settings. So I'm just going to go in here and properties of mine. But once you, all you need to do is your display name, generally just your username, your username, and these are matched with your Voidbuster account. So your display name and username should be the same, password, your VoIPbuster password, authorization username, that's your VoIPbuster username, domain, sip.voipbuster.com. Oh, there's Zoom. And then, again, you just want to put that down here for your address, too, um, for your domain proxy. And you need to make sure it's not on domain, but proxy, or not target domain either, but proxy. And then this will automatically link you up with VoIPbuster. And you can go to voicemail. You don't have voicemail, sadly. Uh, none of these really matter. And just click OK and close it. And it's going in here registering with the network. It should register. And then you can just call away. Well, hold on. Generally, you need to dial with a 1. Uh, sometimes it'll go through if you don't. I'm just going to go ahead and call my cell phone. 